If you are not careful, and you know clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum buzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby because it sure as hell has heard you. The back room is considered of several rooms. Level 0 is a non-linear space, resembling the back rooms of a retail outlet. Similar to its previous form, all rooms in level 0 appear uniform and share superficial features such as yellow wallpaper, damp carpet, and consistently placed fluorescent lighting. However, no two rooms within the level are identical. The installed lighting flickers inconsistently and hums at a constant frequency. The buzzing is notably louder and more obtrusive than ordinary fluorescent humming, and examination of the fixtures to determine the source has been inconclusive. The substance saturating the carpet cannot be consistently identified. It is not water, nor is it safe to consume. Linear space in level zero is altered drastically. It is possible to walk in a straight line and return to the starting point, and retracing your steps results in a different set of rooms appearing than the ones already passed through. Due to this, and the visual similarity between rooms, consistent navigation is extremely difficult. Devices such as compasses and GPS locators fail to function within the level, and radio communications are distorted and unreliable. Level zero is entirely still and devoid of life. Despite the fact that it is the primary entrance to the back rooms, contact with other wanders within the level has never been reported. Presumably, a great number of people have died before exiting, the most likely causes being dehydration, starvation, and psychological trauma due to sensory deprivation and isolation. However, no corpses have been reported from the hypothetical deaths. Attempting to enter level zero as a group will result in the separation of the group until the next level is exited. Hallucinations in level zero are common with the most common being, humming from the lighting increasing to a deafening volume, the abruptly silencing. The appearance of doors, the appearance of stairs, acute deja vu. Human-like speech resembling no known language, movement and peripheral vision resembling insects crawling underneath the wallpaper which disappears once the wall is observed directly, and insect-like chittering. No entities are known to exist within the level, including other humans. If you see, hear, or encounter another wanderer, it is not human. Exiting level zero is only possible by no clipping, which will always result in entry to level one. As newcomers to level zero are often unfamiliar with the mechanics of the back rooms, it is necessary to keep your bearings and adapt quickly to the environment in order to exit. Entrance to the Manila room is rare but possible by walking a great distance in any direction. Unlike level zero, wanderers can meet freely in the Manila room, but the room is a dead end. Rather, it functions as a rendezvous room for wanderers who survive the trek. Additional. Documents from the MUG can be found in the Manila Room, assisting newcomers in survival and escape. Instructions on no clip can be found.